an issue people here in the Tijuana River Valley have been dealing with for years. Polluted water and the smell that comes with it. The San Diego County Air Pollution Control District says it issued this notice of violation after receiving 150 complaints regarding odor in just the past week. It's undescribable. It's like worse than a porta potty that's tipped over or whatever. It's even worse than that. Danny Howard has lived in Esther for 25 years and says it smells worse now than ever before. God forbid if you want to come outside and take a late night walk or something, you know, with your dog. But now I can't even do that because you might be out there a few feet or, you know, a couple hundred yards and it hits you. Danny and his wife say the odor is so unbearable. Not only do they avoid walking outside, but they also can't open their windows. Other neighbors told me the same thing. Even though they didn't have to, I experienced it firsthand. I'm here on Saturn. You can see water rushing under the row here with a layer of white foam on top. On the ground, someone wrote, take a deep breath. I can tell you the smell out here is just as bad as neighbors describe. When we're getting hundreds of complaints of sewage odors where folks can't open their windows, can't take their kids to the park. That's a huge concern for us. Paula Forbis so, is an air pollution control officer with the county's air pollution control district. She says they've never received so many complaints on this issue. After investigating, the agency found elevated levels of hydrogen sulfide, a colorless gas known for its rotten egg odor. Forbis says it doesn't exceed levels that pose a health risk, but it was enough for the agency to issue a notice of violation to the International Boundary and Water Commission and its contractor for causing a public nuisance. The smell is the result of them failing to properly maintain the Hollister wastewater pump station, which sends sewage flowing into the area. It failed in June, resulting in approximately 300,000 gallons of this flow to go into the Tijuana River. Forbes says the issue has not been resolved, but plans to follow up until there's compliance. Danny Hauer hopes so, saying while he's been forced to hold his breath lately, he's not when it comes to waiting on a permanent fix. It just seems like everybody just keeps talking about it, but nothing ever gets accomplished. Shannon Handy, CBS 8. Thank you, Shannon. A spokesperson for the International Boundary and Water Commission says they are committed to complying with all federal, state, and local laws.